Hi, I'm Adam Boxby. Now I want to explain why I've been waking up so early, spamming my social media with workout selfies, and how I'm trying to change the way I think about things using two words, can't and don't. Now a little while ago things had gotten on top of me and I wasn't where I wanted to be both physically and emotionally and I decided that I had to do something to change. So I made a promise to myself to try and get up before work which uh, ended up being about five o'clock, uh, so about six o'clock now, to try and get out there and do some exercises, feel better about myself and to make myself healthier but I realized that I was following this way of thinking and way of looking at things which can be applied to all aspects of my life uh, both at work and personally and I want to tell you about that now I will just say this isn't my own idea this is something I've developed based on somebody else's writing but in a sense it's about changing the way that you look at things or to try and motivate yourself using two words can't and don't if we think of anything that we want to do or want to change in our lives so maybe say I'd like to eat less chocolate or I would like to eat less donuts or I would like to work out more and become fitter and healthier how would we go about doing that I'd be walking into that shop and saying, I can't eat that. That delicious donut, I can't eat that. And that makes me feel bad. You know what I mean? That makes me feel like somebody is there in an authoritarian figure telling me, you can't eat that, Adam. You can't have that donut. And that creates, immediately, it creates a conflict in me. It creates the idea that somebody is imposing this this restriction on me and that I can't do it because somebody has told me to and that creates this little seed of resentment that I really want to but I can't I can't do it and that makes me feel really not very nice think about it in the sense of working out getting up at silly o'clock and coming out into the cold and the wet and the, as you may be able to hear on the microphone at times, the windy. It could be somebody saying, or it could be yourself saying, I can't go out today. It's raining, or I can't go out today. It's really windy and cold. And again, that creates a conflict. Or it creates, as I found, it creates guilt. It creates the thought of, I really should do, I really want to, but I just can't. You notice how I'm putting on that slightly pathetic sounding voice as I'm saying this as well? Oh, I can't do it. I don't obviously say that to myself in quite that way, but I'm overemphasizing to give you the idea of how it transpires in my mind when I say, oh, I really should, but I just oh, I can't. I've got stuff to do. I won't get out there in time. I haven't woken up in time. I just can't wake up. All of that negativity is building up. So this article that I read just says, all you need to do is just change the way you think of it by using the word don't. And I thought, oh, here we go. All this pseudo psychological blah, blah, blah. I was a bit skeptical, I have to say. But I gave it a try because I thought, if you don't try these things, you know, as long as there's no risk involved to yourself, you know, I'm not saying like, Oh, as as, yeah, I've never tried base jumping blindfolded. What I'm saying is that if you try something and there's no obvious risk to yourself, then just give it a try. And if it doesn't work for you, then it doesn't. So that's really my advice with all things. But I decided to give it a go. I decided to use the word don't. So in the example of the donuts, I really, really like vanilla donuts. To a, to a slightly uncontrollable extent. And I thought, this is really not having a good impact on my fitness goals. What's the point in waking up early, working out, if you're just going to stuff your face with donuts? So I gave it a try. Next time I walked into that shop, I said, 
I don't eat donuts. Or I don't buy a five pack of donuts. And the way I thought about it had changed. It's not that somebody was telling me that I can't do it. It's not that I'm telling myself that I can't do it. It's not that I'm putting that barrier of you want to do it, but you can't. It's just, well, I don't need to think about it. It doesn't have to enter my mind as a possibility because you don't. And in the example of working out, yeah, it may be really cold outside and your bed may be really nice and warm, but the thing is, you don't make excuses. You don't let the rain bother you. I don't let the cold and the wind. You don't let the stares of the people walking by as they're taking their dog for a walk because you've not got up early enough in order to avoid anybody walking around at this time of day bother you. You don't let the fact that the wind might be slightly disrupting your microphone bother you. And finally, I think the thing that really has stuck with me with using the don't over can't is about excuses. I really don't like excuses. Not from other people, you know, I'm not accusing people of making excuses when they say, oh, sorry, mate, I can't come out tonight, or I'm sorry, I can't, can't do that. It's about yourself. It's about myself. I used to make excuses for many things. I'm sure you can sympathize. You know, things don't go right or you made a mistake and you felt a bit embarrassed about it or you really made excuses about getting up and doing something or or trying to come out when there's nobody about and have your day already give you something before most people are awake now I just say I don't make excuses and with that in mind I've got my exercise mat and I'm at my usual workout spot it's a little bit later in the morning than I usually do this but I needed the light otherwise you would have just seen darkness anyway what I'm trying to say is that I'm using the word don't in a positive manner I'm ditching the word can't when it relates to things that I don't want to do or things that I can't do or things that I would like to do but I feel that I shouldn't you get what I'm saying but also what I'm trying to say is that I'm hoping to post more video and articles in the future now that I'm starting to get a grip on some of the things that have changed in my life and some of the things that have happened to mean that I've got slightly less time than I used to but Whatever happens, I don't make excuses. If this video has been helpful for you, then please do let me know or just subscribe and follow me. I'm at Adam Roxby on Twitter or just head over to my website, adamroxby.co.uk and I'll see you for the next one.